What's up guys, today we're going to be doing an alternator upgrade. This is a GM1 wire. You'll notice it looks nothing like the factory alternator. There's tape stuck to it for some reason. Anyway, the reason why they call this a one wire is it's very simple. You literally only run one wire to it. Um, I'll explain that later, but more about it. The reason why I'm switching to this alternator, this is a 110 amp. The factory system is a 70. And I do believe the maxima upgrade a lot of people go for is a 90 amp. Now I'm running two power fans, a sound system, and of course the swap in the car that doesn't belong in it. So I assume that I'm going to need a good bit of power, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this. And I just want to basically do a little video on how to do this upgrade for people. And the nice thing is, is that this is actually more of a plug and play system than the Maxima upgrade. Because some people may have serpentine pulleys, some people may have V-belt pulleys. And I guess you have to redo the wiring and all that good stuff. So what you're going to do is the smaller, the smaller flange on the top of the alternator is actually going to go up to where the threaded block is. And one issue you will run into is that the alternator, if you get a GM1 wire from like AutoZone or Advanced or anything, this is threaded and the block is threaded. Now they're two different threads. So the one easy way to fix this is to take a drill and cut the threads out, which essentially sleeves this. Then you just get a longer bolt and run it into the factory block mounting position. That is about the only way to avoid it and that allows you to mount it without issue. Now the bottom is the interesting part. As you can see, this, uh, this flange is a lot longer. So what you need to do is go to your hardware store and get a three inch bolt. This is a three inch, half inch bolt and it fits perfect. It doesn't really jiggle around or anything like that. And as you can see, nothing but threads is sticking out. So what's gonna happen is, this is gonna go through the adjuster bracket and the tensioner like so then it's going to go into the alternator you're going to slap the bolt on the back tighten the whole system down so as you can see really this is about as plug and play as it gets compared to the maxima alternator you don't have a lot of issues as far as mounting goes all i had to do was drill out this top flange which took a whopping two and a half seconds and you're on the roll so once again, you don't have to change the pulley or anything, and it's actually about as spaced out as it needs to be if you were to measure from mounting point to the pulley surface. Uh, generally, it's the same distance within like, I think it's probably like a hundredth of a millimeter, so it's perfectly fine. Okay, so anyway, you take the jumper on the F terminal to the voltage regulator, and you run it to the power outlet on the alternator. What this does is, this tells the alternator to charge as soon as it's spinning. So if you just jump it, you don't have to deal with a factory signal or anything like that. This makes it way easier. And then you only have one wire coming off the alternator. That's why we call them one wires. And then you want to take your little terminal like this, your 4 gauge wire, whatever you decide to run for your charging system. And you're going to go ahead and, of course, put it on the back side of the nut, tighten it all down, and you're good to go. You now have a 110 amp alternator on your 30 turbo motor. And uh, one more thing I want to mention. This is the belt that came on the car. As you can see, it's a pretty thin belt. Uh, V-belts generally, even if they're thin, they're still gonna work no matter what. It, it all depends on how much resistance it's gonna be going against. Eventually, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and put on a thicker belt, but this is, however, the same exact width because you're using the factory mounting point, so you do not need a longer belt. This is still going to be a fully adjustable system, even with this large alternator in there. All right, let's go ahead and ignore my really bad, completely torn apart interior for a moment. Alright, so there you have it. That's a one wire install on a VG30 from start to finish. Um, as you can see, it works, it functions, the belt doesn't wobble, it charges. Um, a really simplified system, it cuts out the factory regulator and all that wiring nonsense and gives you a fail safe system that will work regardless.